think, be flexible. It does not mean flexing your values, standards, morals, absolutely not. But it does mean that you're able to understand context and nuance, actually care about why someone does what they do or why someone has certain preferences or has a certain way about them. You're not so rigid. A lot of things that you see online is very rigid. It's very black and white. It either has to be this way or it's no way. It's a really unhealthy way of thinking, okay, and being in the world. You're really, you're really not developed enough. It's really childlike. Hey, y'all. Welcome to Boundaries and Grace. What is your take on dating women with male best friends and multiple male friends? I've been told by a woman that her male best friend has been there for her breakups and emotional support. Understand the context of the friendship. When you're unable to consider nuance and context, you really do come off as rigid and even insecure. And I know men don't like to hear that, but I'm going to tell you this for real. You really do come off as, because you might be, rigid meaning like there it's either this way or it's that way and there's no in between. I come into this with an idea of what it should look like and how it should be. And if it's not that way, I cannot flex my mind to understand any other way. That's what I mean by rigid. Insecure because you see it as a threat, literally no matter what. And again, if that's how you want to live, that's fine. But honestly, the people that I work with on a client level are able to think and are able to be flexible it does not mean flexing your values, standards, morals, absolutely not. But it does mean that you're able to understand context and nuance and, and, be, and, and you actually care about why someone does what they do or why someone has certain preferences or has a certain way about them. You're not so rigid. A lot of things that you see online is very rigid. It's very black and white. It either has to be this way or it's no way. It's a really unhealthy way of thinking, okay, and being in the world. You're really, you're really not developed enough. It's really childlike. Sometimes I think, especially men who find my page, let me say this, especially men who find my page see that I'm reasonable and they think I'm like a tell women to get in line and it's either this way or it's nothing. It's not, that's not what this is. It's, it's, not, it's not a raw, raw red pill situation. There's, there's some truth and value in ideologies. It doesn't mean that it's all good. It doesn't mean it's all bad. Any, anyway, Here's what I want you to, here's what I, here's what I would like you to understand, okay? Understand the context of the friendship. For example, a woman can have a lot of male friends and it can mean different things. It, context matters. Do you, are you friends with a lot of men because you need somebody you can call when, on the weekend to take you or go get a drink? Or do you, have, do you have a lot of friends because you happen to get along well with them or your, your interests align more with male interests than the standard or typical female interests? Do you just happen to be in environments where there are a lot of men? She may have a career where there are a lot of men, like a career in finance and fitness or in public service. There are different reasons that someone can have a lot of can have a lot of or several male friends, and it doesn't always mean the same thing. Okay, 